rolling. Oh wait, I need a clapper. It's over here. But I'm just gonna use it for the clap. What's up, guys? <laughs> okay, so today we're gonna be talking about. Uh huh. Wait, no. Hi guys, my name is DC, and today we're gonna be talking about all of my lights I've ever bought, and I'm gonna be ranking them from what I feel like would be the best purchase that I've ever had to probably the worst thing that you should never buy. <laughs> throughout my filming career, would I call it a career? I haven't, I don't know if I should call it a career, but throughout my film life, yeah, throughout my film life, I. I've got I've come to the conclusion that you can use any camera that you want, but you always need lights. So my very first light that I've ever bought, I was very hesitant at buying it in the first place because at the time I thought, no, I need more lenses, I need more, I need a better camera, I need stuff like that. I need like audio because you'd never think about lighting back when I was a child. <laughs> but uh, when I bought this light, it became my main workhorse light for the time because it ran on NPF batteries so you can buy a bunch of batteries for it it will you can bring it anywhere put it anywhere and it was basically my workhorse light for a very very long for not for for a good chunk of time because uh having a light for for those moments that you just need to fill a face or just you need to shoot a video at night where you need a little bit of light it changes the whole scene so this is the first ever light that i ever bought it's my oldest light and it is my Yongnuo YN300. So that's it. So Yongnuo YN300 is my oldest light. Um, this used to have barn doors on them. I removed them because barn doors on LED panels is just dumb, to be honest. Because you can't cut light with barn doors. That's usually the use of barn doors. Um, the little flap, the flappy black things on them. That's usually the use of them. You can cut the light so that it would shape the light, but you can't really do that with panels. So it's, it was kind of stupid to have barn doors on them. So I just removed them so that I can put whatever diffusion I wanted on these. Uh, before I would use like tracing paper just to diffuse the light. I would face it down. I face it down like that. I would have tracing paper so it would diffuse the light and would make a gigantic uh, soft area for whatever talent or whatever I was shooting. So this is my first ever light. I would rank this a good... I would rank all of them later. I would rank all of them later. I have all of my lights here anyway. The second light that I bought... Uh, when I was doing more serious shoots with, at the time I was doing more shoots with dancers. So I bought two lights. I bought two SL60Ws. Two SL60Ws. I have two of these. This is one of them. This is my, this is my backup SL60W. And the other one, actually you've been seeing since the start of the video, which is that one over there. It has a softbox on it. So that's a big thing with these uh, Godox SL60Ws, which is still a really good light right now i would it would be higher in the rankings later because you can do a lot with SS, sl60ws these costs like less than 5000 pesos and with three of them you can shoot literally any youtube content you'll ever need so for the price of like one of my most expensive lights you can buy three of these and use it for any of your shoots for a very very long time i still use them <laughs> I still use them until now. I still bring them to shoots where I need like two two more lights. So yeah, they're still very, very useful. So yeah, that's my second light that I bought. The next light that I bought actually would come very, very much later. Pa. Like a few years down the line because I, I never really needed any other lights because most of the shoots that I had during the time, during that time period was more dance, more outdoor, more... Uh, wide open areas. I didn't really have any shoots that needed close-ups or uh, very uh, product shots and stuff like that. But the next light that I bought was this Lanzi uh, RGB LED VL49 RGB. I used to have two of these and one of them broke already. I think I dropped it hard enough so that the, the lithium-ion battery in it ballooned. So yeah, I used to have two of these, now I just have one. And I don't plan on buying another one of these uh, short. I have a review on this uh, when I bought them. And now I am planning to buy a different one because although this is very useful, um, it is very, it is small, it is cheap, but for a little bit more expensive, I bought this, I think, at 650, 750 pesos. I bought this at 650, 750 pesos. At 1000 pesos, you get something that's a lot better. I, th I think would be a lot better anyway. So yeah, this is the Olanzi 
RGB, LED. You can switch it to any color that you want. Um, it just takes forever to get to the color that you want, actually. The battery life isn't amazing as well. So it would last you like, I'm guessing two hours before it runs out at 100%. So some of the more recent lights that I bought, I think is this one, this uh, very cheap uh, LED tube. It's one color. So this is not RGB, this is one color. This is just, this is just pink. So yeah, that's it. And then I have two of these. They come in a pack of two. This one's blue, much brighter. Because blue LEDs are much brighter. So I got two of these. Um, I think I used them once on a shoot and I've never used them again. I, would, I wouldn't buy these because my problem with these is that they're not a constant light. So if you leave them turned on long enough, they will dim down to a different uh, light level over time. Well, they are very cheap. I got both of these for 700 pesos. So, I mean, it's not bad. Also, you can only use them at max brightness. So if I turn it on, max brightness, second one, you start seeing that banding that you don't like. That means it's using PWM pulse width modulation for their uh dimming of the brightness and not voltage uh modulation modulation would you still call it volt modulation no i don't think so but it's not lowering the voltage it's it's using pulse width modulation in order to lower the bright the perceived brightness but that results in this banding that you see right now so yeah it's not amazing it has it has a flashing as well so those are all of the lights that i've ever bought no there's actually one more which i cannot show you right now i can't hold it in my hands because i'm using it right now it's my key light right here it is my aperture uh 200x is my favorite light right now i use it for literally anything that needs a key light and yeah oh wait i have one more light is this one this is this ring light so that ring light is my fill light for when i stream so yeah that one's okay. It's not amazing. It, it, it has a daylight tungsten and then an in-between. Not amazing, but it's okay. If I were to buy all of them right now, right? Buy all of them right now and rank all of them. Number one, number one, surprisingly, will be uh, SL60W. Because for the price, for the price of one of, of one of those, you can do insane production with a bunch of like of course you're gonna need modifiers you can't use it on its own that's why this one has softbox and you, i don't you i don't normally use the the reflector dish on it because it cones really really narrow and it, it it's not appealing to the face unless you're doing it for that stylistic like hard light you need a modifier for it it'll it's still number one because for how cheap it is you can buy two or three of those for the price of one of these aperture ones and you're set you're good. You're fine. You'll be amazing. My, the next one behind that probably would be this Aperture one. Um, if you had the budget to buy one of these, I would buy one of these and one of their S. Uh, no, one of these Aperture 200Xs and another 100X because the combination of the two is just amazing. I, I plan on getting another 100X when I can. Probably sell the SL60Ws or just buy a. 100 100x outright because for the price that you can't you can't beat this having a, a i'm a loss of words by color light that's the word having a by color light that you can use on any shoot is just amazing although there's an argument to be said that if you're shooting more youtube content or online content the only thing you'll ever need is a daylight color light like those SL60Ws, that's why they're number one. So it's gonna be SL60W, Amaran 200X that I have right now. And the next one to that would probably be these RGB lights because if you have a bunch of these, they can literally fill up your room. I didn't use it anymore in my background because again, they die pretty fast. If you're doing more product shots, they're amazing. The next one that I would choose probably would be this one. No, scratch that. This would be higher than that RGB light because this was my workhorse for a very, very long time. I love this light, even though I don't use it anymore. Uh, it's still an amazing light. Um, I wouldn't buy it now because there's a bunch of different options now that you can get for the price that I got this for. I think I, I don't even remember the price I got this for. It would be somewhere in the 3000 4000 range, I'm guessing. That would be... This would be number three. This is number three. 
this one's number four. And then probably next to that would be this this ring light because I use it every single time I stream. So it's very, very useful to me. I It doesn't come with whatever is you're seeing in the front. Whatever you're seeing in the front right there is a grid that I 3D printed and made for it because without without a grid on the ring light, it just spills everywhere. You can see everything in the background. So I, I try to grid everything that I use so that uh, I can isolate the light. So yeah, that one really useful, really cheap as well. I think that was like 100 something, 200 something pesos. That, one, that one's really useful. It runs on USB. And then at the bottom is these lights. I have love-hate relationship with these things because they freaking amazing, bro. They're just amazing lights. It's just that with the caveats of how they work, uh, it's not really useful to me. Wait, how to turn off, turn off. Okay, there you go. It's not really useful to me. I rarely use them. I usually just keep them on my ceiling because they have magnets on the back. Um, they're not really useful to me that often. I, I rarely use them, but they are very, very cheap if you want something in the background just to put uh, when you're doing a short, very short video, by the way. You can't, you can't leave these on for more than an hour because, well, it's just not amazing. It's, it's just, yeah. But that's all of the lights that I've ever bought. I'll probably leave links somewhere in the description for all of them. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. I'm gonna, I have a bunch of YouTube videos. Actually, all of those post-it notes over there, those are all YouTube videos or ideas that I wanna do. So I am now going through all of them and just seeing what, um, just go subscribe and just wait for the next video because it's gonna be amazing. Yeah? All right.